mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Some say it's you, others know why, but in all actuality, it's me. If you're one of my negative nine subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new here, I'll try not to scare you away. So today we're going to be doing the magic mirror from Snow White. And since I've already done the old hag from Snow White, can anyone guess what my favorite Disney movie was growing up? What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually go black out my eyebrows and apply a bald cap off camera. These are optional steps, but I just didn't want my ears to be showing in this video. So if you want a full tutorial on how to do both of those things, leave a comment down below. I just am not going to do it in this video because I've done them in previous videos and in the interest of saving time, I'm going to do them off camera. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Now that that's done, I'm going to go in with the iMagic Flash Color Palette. It's an exact dupe for the Makeup Forever Flash Color Palette. I just don't have Makeup Forever Flash Palette money. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take the white shade and sketch out the overall shape of the magic mirror mask thingy. Now that I've sketched the overall shape out, I'm going to just start going in with color. I'm using a picture as a reference to make sure that I get the right blend of colors. A lot of this process is just going to be going back and forth between different colors and blending them into one another. Now that I've fully laid down the base colors, I'm going to start going in with shading. Alright, so now I'm sketching the eyebrows in with a mixture of black and the base color blue that we used. Now we're going to go in with some dark colors and give the magic mirror that signature angry look. Right underneath where you apply the shadows, go ahead and put some highlights to add more dimension.
I'm now adding minor highlights and shadows to the yellow parts just because there's not much in the actual reference image but I'm just applying whites to high points of the yellow and a little bit of green to points where I want to add a shadow. I'm now going to powder my entire face with the RCMA No Color Powder to set this makeup. To give the illusion that I'm just a floating head in a mirror, I'm going to use my Mayron Water Activated Black Paint. I personally hate water activated paints. I used them for my first YouTube video and since have not really used them. But since it was a big space I needed to fill with black, I found it more useful to use a water activated paint that goes a little bit farther than the cream paint. I just so happen to have the two perfect colors for the Magic Mirror's lips, a red and a pinkish purple. I'm using Seraphine for the top lip and Craft for the bottom lip, and those are both Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks, which I also happen to buy at TJ Maxx for $6 each. So run out to your local TJ Maxx and get some high-end makeup at cheap prices, girl. I'm going in with the blue cream paint to add dimension to the lips and shadow. I'm taking a black eyeliner and just lining my waterline and tight lining my top lash line and then I'm going to go in with the Bad Gal Bang mascara. All right, you guys, this is the final look. Thank you guys for stopping by for a spell. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell because you know YouTube's getting screwy with the notifications. If you'd like to see anything more from me that you'd like to suggest, go ahead and feel free to leave it in the comments below. If you think I could have done anything better and you know a little bit more about makeup like this go ahead and leave that in the comments too because I can always learn from my mistakes I've got a few more projects planned some Disney some not and I'm gonna try to get more consistent with my posting on YouTube so I'm looking forward to that and I hope you guys are too so thanks for stopping by Janet.